to the first of the market research briefing videos. As market research runs on a Friday afternoon, we're going to have to do things a little differently this semester. So, each Sunday night or Monday, there will be a briefing video launched to the Waffle site, which will consist of me talking to camera, telling you your instructions for the week. For week one, since there's no tutorials and there are no lectures because it's Bush Week on Friday and that's the annual ANU public holiday, what I'm expecting you to do this week is get hold of the textbook and read the first chapter. Yes, the subject is going to start before the lectures do, but that's okay, you'll get used to this. The Wobble site at the moment is still under development, it's still being built up. This is partly because we've taken a lot of consideration uh, over the comments, feedback and scores that the market research subject has received over the last couple of years. And we're doing a ground up complete rebuild. We are going from scratch and starting again. This means that some of the materials aren't ready yet, some of it's not live. And the fact that I've got until Friday of week two before I have to lecture means that yes, I am taking that extra fortnight and I am taking a little more care and putting a lot more development work into the site. What will also take place uh, over the course of this semester is that there's going to be a couple of additional things that I'm going to ask you to do. Now, because the tutorials will take place before the lecture, what will happen is that in your briefing video, you'll be given instructions for what to do in the tutorials, what to prepare for the tutorials. You will go to your tutes, undertake those activities, and then on the Friday afternoon, we're going to have the lecture where we will be putting some context to the week's content. Now in that Friday class, what I'm hoping for is a bit of two-way interaction, a bit of discussion from you since you have gone through and experienced the market research content for the week, and I can start talking more about how to use this where it's applied, rather than running you through some of the bare bones basics. For the most part, I'm going to try to get the market research slides up on the Monday. This way they're coming into the tutorials, you'll have the slides, you'll have the textbook, you'll have the readings. You will be pretty much as briefed as you can be. You undertake the tutorials and then we'll come up on Friday and put things together and wrap things up. This also means that the subject effectively runs Monday to Friday and you get weekends off until the assignments start. So think of it as a bonus for the moment. The other aspect of this course that I do want to bring to your attention is that you are only required at one hour of tutorials. In the first half of the semester, those tutorials will take place in a tutorial room. In the second half of the semester, we will be using a computer lab. For those of you who just had the cold shudder fear and dread of statistics, that computer lab is designed to assist you either overcome those fears or work on qualitative research. The group assignment can be done in quant or qual. So you will have a choice. You are not forced into statistics. On the subject of statistics, I also want to be very clear that this is a subject that will have numbers. The textbook does contain formula, and those formula are incredibly ugly. They are almost at the point of excruciatingly ugly. And I apologize for the fact that they are that bad, but that's how it rolls. The reason we have those formula in there, the reason why it's broken down into step by step is so those of you seeking the depth can find it. If you want to know what the underpinning mathematical equation for a correlation is, there it is in the book in front of you. Otherwise, you, like millions of other market researchers, will go to the SPSS menu and find the correlation section. At the end of it all, this is market research, this is about what we do with the numbers and the words, what we do with the data and the results, and how we use it. And whilst I want you to be confident with statistics, statistical output and qualitative output and qualitative method, I'm not going to get hung up on you having one true preferred method, or I'm not going to be worried if you want to step away and say, look, 
numbers aren't for me, I'll take qual, or words aren't for me, I'll take quant. It is about how you pick your path. The last thing I want to ask you to do for this week is I would like you to go to the Waddle site, I'd like you to familiarise yourself with the content that's available, have a look at the PowerPoints for week one, read chapter one, and also have a look at this particular file called the course assets. I've tried to explain some of the expectations I have for the course, some of the component parts that are in place, and some of the things that might be a little bit different about how I run market research this semester compared to any subject I've run previously, or maybe any subject you've done here at ANU. The final thing I will say is that in week two at the lecture, I will ask you to attend. Even if you don't plan on attending any further lectures after that, I need you to be there for the first of the face-to-face -face courses. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, and there's a lot of content that I want to be able to get your feedback. I want to hear from you, because the course is a market research course. It's about knowledge that's come from data, and I'm going to ask you to contribute to this subject by providing me with data. There is a survey on Wattle at the moment, if you would be so kind as to fill that out as well. That is about your attitudes to, to statistics. With that data, firstly, you'll be analysing it. So you'll get to do some statistics with your attitudes to statistics data. It's a bit meta and it's probably a bit cruel, but still. Secondly, that data is going to help me build a course for you. Fill it out honestly, cleanly, and it'll help all of us out. And the final thing I'd like to say is, Welcome to Market Research. This is going to be an interesting semester. It's going to be a bit of a challenge given the way this course rolled the dice and came on the Friday afternoons. The tutorials and the information about the tutorials will be launched in week two. And if you have any questions or feedback, there is going to be a series of ways of getting in touch with me. There is the course email address, there is the course Twitter account, and then there's my own personal email email address at ANU. However it rolls out and whatever happens for this semester, the other thing I'd like to say is that we're in this together. If you don't like statistics and you don't like numbers, it's okay, I have your back. If you do like statistics and you do like numbers, then I'm hoping that I've got something on offer for you as well. And if you're really into words and you like qualitative, there's definitely some stuff for you. Which means I've started this course with three distinct segments in mind and we're going to play marketing as well as we're going to teach you marketing. So I'm going to break out all the tools and techniques of marketing to make certain that this course tries to deliver to those three distinct areas. And that's your briefing for week one. Thank you and see you at the week two lecture.